So in this video, I wanted to do a deep dive into finding the best possible pencil sharpener. And by best, I just mean something that's very versatile, very affordable, and something that's gonna last. Uh, if you buy the one I pick, hopefully you'll have your pencil sharpener covered and that's something you'll never have to worry again. Uh, I got a bunch of them in, bought them from all over the place, range of prices, although I stayed pretty affordable. And uh, here are the top ones and I will show you my picks at the end of the video. Uh, roughly we'll go clockwise. So, and we'll be moving quickly because there are a lot of them. So first off, this is the Ricetta. It is called uh, from a company called Sonic and this model is called the Notification. Basically you push this button down and then once your pencil gets further enough in, uh, this will pop out and that's how you know your pencil is done sharpening. Uh, the notification hasn't worked for me. I don't know if I got a bad one or not, but it's a nice idea. It has a cap on it. It's fully enclosed so the shavings stay in and it's uh, emptied by pulling this plastic piece up. The reason it's called the Ricetta is because it has a ratchet in it. So basically you sharpen, but you could also turn it backwards. That way you could hold one side steady and sharpen just a little bit more quickly. The only thing to keep in mind is that this works better with a hexagonal pencil. Uh, and then also that if you turn it sideways like this and then pull it out, you can't really empty any shavings that are on the bottom here. Not really a great design. And that one sells for about $3. Next, uh, also from Sonic, this is the Ricetta capsule. This is a nicer design. It is also the ratchet. Here, instead of having a notification, it has a little stopper. So basically, if you want your pencil to get very, very pointy, you put this stopper off to the side. And now the tip can keep sharpening and sharpening and sharpening. If you want a more of a, a, a broad finish at the end, you put this in place, then the pencil will only be able to go into the sharpener so much. This has a cap on it. Uh, this piece removes very easily, so you can get a very good and thorough cleaning. It's a really solid sharpener. It also has some very clever ideas, like up here in this little cap piece, it has a little recessed hole right here, and that looks like it's just for strength, but in fact, it is shaped like a hexagon. So you have a hexagonal pencil that's on the short side or hard to grab. You could sharpen like this. And this is a much easier way to sharpen your pencil than to hold the pencil. Just because you can get a little bit better purchase on this big thing. So this one goes for $5 and it has the ratchet mechanism, has a cap, uh, easy to clean. This is a top, top pencil sharpener. Here we have uh, a very simple one. This is from the German company Kum, K-U-M. And if you're looking around the sharpeners, you'll see them come up a whole lot. It's a magnesium body, two holes, and it's basically, they're at the same angle, but it's one hole for smaller diameter pencils and one for larger diameter pencils. Uh, basically this one's for oversized pencils and it won't help you with a standard pencil. You use a small hole, but if you have something like this, it will fit or uh, something like this big hexagonal one for kids, it'll fit. Whereas it will not fit in a lot of pencil sharpeners. So this one is actually a, a very good model because again, Kum makes top stuff. It's magnesium, so it's nice and light. These blades are replaceable. So over time you can replace them and at a uh, $2 retail price, it's really hard to beat. Uh, the only thing this one is lacking is that it does not have any way to catch shavings. Uh, and that for me is sort of a deal breaker. I really do prefer ones where the shavings are caught like so, but uh, you're gonna have to decide for yourself on that one. So that is the Kum number 410. 
Here you have the Coombe number 400, and this is a long model. It's a single hole, so it's only good for normal pencils or colored pencils, whatever. Single blade, obviously, which has a single hole. Better grip, has a sort of I-beam construction. And this one is designed for uh, stenographers, whatever that means. Um, you know, a lot of these uh, things are very old designs, which they are pencils, and they haven't really kept up with the times so much the way pens have. So this one's only $1.35. Simple, reasonably effective. I have not been super impressed with this one though. And while you can get a pretty long pencil stroke out of it, is that a slightly odd angle? So if we see this one, this is a sharp pencil, but definitely it could use more sharpening. And this one you can see barely get in there. So just not the right shape for us for most circumstances, unless you start with this pencil sharper. So not a fan. Here is one of the sleeper hits in the video, and this is called the Sunstar. And I believe the model is the Sect. It's only $1.75. It is contained. It's nice and small. Two holes, one for shallow and one for deep. And uh, very sharp blades. This one works great. I was actually very happy with this. So I never heard of the brand before. And uh, yeah, I didn't know what to expect for something under $2. The downside of this one is that it uses a plastic housing. So I'm not so sure about the longevity of this one. But again, for a dollar, hard to complain. And again, performance on this one was very, very good. I was uh, really happy with both the... Uh, the two sides, the shallow and deep angles. Getting into the angles, probably should have done this earlier, but here's the example of a very shallow and a very deep angle. It's basically like how sharp or how long do you want that point to be? Some people want their pencils like this, where you have a very acute angle. Here the angle is obviously it's still acute, but it's a wider angle. And that is going to mean a stronger, stouter tip but it's not gonna stay sharp as long, whereas this one will have a sharper tip for longer. But your chance of breakage with a tip like this is much, much higher. Like this, this is gonna break. Here we have the MN, M plus R or M and R grenade. M and R or M plus R makes a bunch of these little brass sharpeners like this one. They're on the expensive side. In fact, this one sells for $4.40. So not really expensive in the scheme of things, but more expensive than a lot of, of the sharpeners here. Uh, and you're just paying for the brass and the cool design. I actually, uh, I was prepared to really strongly dislike one, this one just based on the shape and how small it is, but it did a fairly good job with the sharpening. It's got a sharp blade, easy to replace. Uh, so it actually did the job fairly well, but on the whole, I haven't really been very impressed with these M and R sharpeners just because they come at a price premium and I haven't really seen why except that they look cool and they're brass. So if you want aesthetics or something nice to place on your desk, m and does the job, but past that, it's uh, they're more show than go. I just happen to have this one lying around. This is the Stabilo. This is called the Woody 3 plus 1 sharpener. Uh, and while I thought this was a general sharpener, it's actually not. It's really built for oversized crayons like this. Uh, so this one is uh, fairly affordable. I believe it's like two or three dollars, uh, five dollars. So it's not that affordable. It's actually a little bit more expensive. It's cheaper if you buy it with a pack. It could, uh, I believe, it comes with a twelve pack of these pencils. Once in a while, I'll find a use for this, but this is a larger pencil and it still doesn't work. So it's not as often that it works as I would like. What I do like about this one and what I thought more brands would do is that this one has uh, a kid safety feature in it because it is wide enough to put your finger in. It, it Basically, there's a, this little green clip. It has to get pushed up for the sharper to get access, uh, for you to get access to the, the sharp part of the blade. And you can see if I push this in, the green goes up and the blade is exposed. Here, the blade is not exposed. So. I would have liked to seen some more protection features in some of these. It's so easy, just a plastic clip. 
So, but very few have it. Something like this, you know, couldn't really get your finger in, but perhaps a kid might. So I don't know, some perfection, uh, protection features would have been warranted. Here we have this uh, pig pencil sharpener or pencil or crayon sharpener. I don't know the brand, sells for about $5. And it's uh, oversized, which is nice because I can sharpen something like this. And, uh, but generally performance on this one is not very good. It does not sharpen very well. The angles are off. Uh, so A for effort and the both, the two sizes are spot on for uh, oversized pencils or colored, uh, colored markers, sorry, uh, colored pencils, whatever, or normal pencils, but just uh, the execution was not done properly. Here we have a, another metal exposed pencil sharpener from this company called Maphead or Mapped or Maped. Not really sure how you do that, M-A-P-E-D. It's uh, all metal. I believe it's also magnesium. Not sure if it says. Two blades, reasonably sharp, gets the job done. Uh, it's okay to hold, not very comfortable. I thought with these contours, it'd be more comfortable than it was, but it's definitely uh, not my favorite. And this one's only $3, and it's uh, same angle, but standard or oversized. Again, I thought this one would be interesting, but it's definitely not as good. I don't like it as much as this Kuhn. I found this to be lighter, easier to hold, and uh, gives me a better sharpening experience. So now we're gonna be moving over to this sharpener right here, and this is called the Kuhn Automatic Long Point. And the point of this one is that it can make a very long point to the pen. Uh, so here we have it right here. And that you can see that is clearly an extended point. To get this, uh, you're gonna not use one hole or the, or the other hole. You'll be going back and forth between hole one and hole two. And they're slightly different angles. So basically what happens is hole one will be shaping the wood while hole two, hole two will be shaping the point here. So you go back and forth each side shaved a little bit off and eventually you get to this really, really excellent point. This is as extended or as acute an angle of any uh, pencil sharpener that I've used. Uh, this has a plastic body, the shavings stay inside, which is great. The, uh, this opens somehow, this opens. Two extra blades are included, which is really nice. Uh, the Kuhn sharpener is in here. It's kind of fixed in there. I believe it's made of plastic, but it's uh, nice and firmly in there, so I don't foresee any problems with this in the future. And this one sells for uh, a little bit over $4, maybe about $4, and it is really, really quite excellent. But again, for, you will only use it if you want extended or long points like this. Last sharpener we're gonna look at is this one. This is the uh, Katsawa, and I don't know how you say this, but the Tigal, Tigal. And this is a really interesting, really versatile sharpener. And what it is, is as you turn this, you could have the aperture here closed. That's if you want all the uh, shavings to definitely stay inside. Or you can go from one to five. And basically one, is a very short point. So something like this, five is a very long point. Something like this, not quite as long, but like this. So this is an all-in-one sharpener where all you have to do is turn to the size you want, sharpen, and then you're good to go. It is also a contained sharpener and it's easy to empty with this little hole back here. It's like, kind of like opening the remote on a uh, remote control you know, getting the batteries on remote control. The sharpening box is plastic, as you could probably make out, and then the blade is in there. Uh, theoretically, it's replaceable, but I don't really think it is replaceable. You'd have to take this whole thing apart, and it doesn't seem like it really wants to come apart. This one goes for uh, about, I believe, I forgot to write this one down, I believe it's about five or six dollars. This is one of the uh, slightly more extensive ones. And so, there you have the uh, roundup of sharpeners. And I just wanted to leave you with my favorite picks. So if I had to go with my top four, 
I would say get rid of the pig, the map, Stabilo, grenade, this one. Uh, so actually, let's do top five. So top five are right here. The coom, the Tigal, the cheap coom, the ratchet, and the sunstar. Uh, so dollar for dollar, you're gonna want the sunstar. Dollar setting five, get your job done. Uh, it really was the uh, kind of the surprise hit. That's followed up closely by this coom. Again, this is two dollars, and it's all metal with the replaceable blades. So that's really great, and this one will last you forever, which is magnesium. But the fact that it does not have the uh, any sort of housing to catch the shavings is kind of a bothersome to me. Just like shavings, you'd see they get all over the place. They create a bit of a mess. So if I had to go with my top three, then here we are. The ca uh, capsule, the T-Gal, and the Coom Automatic. Uh, the capsule, because I like the design, works really well. It's like seems like the most technical, it's the most interesting from a design standpoint. T-Gal is the most versatile, and the Coom Automatic is, for me, the best overall sharpener. And these come actually in different versions. So if uh, the longest possible point isn't the only thing you want, then uh, you could just buy a different version. This is called the automatic long point. There are other versions sold. So those are the top three. If you have to buy just one pencil sharpener, I would definitely recommend you get the Coom automatic. It, uh, it's $4, which is a reasonable price. It is contained. It is easy to clean. It comes with extra blades, which is means basically like it's buying two sharpeners in one, as long as you don't lose it. And uh, it has really been great at sharpening for me. So that is about it. The Coom Automatic is my sharpener of choice. And I will follow this up with some videos of me actually sharpening. So you'll be able to see some or all of these in action. Thanks for watching.